Hello, journal goddesses. It is Wednesday, so that means it is time for us to do our weekly oracle journaling. So let's start by connecting in with our bodies, of course. Taking that nice deep breath. And then just checking in with your body, seeing how it's doing. How you doing physically, emotionally? How are you doing energetically? How are your thoughts today? How's your spirit? Mm, and giving yourself permission just to take this time to be with yourself and know that you are connected with others around the world who are doing this journaling because of the magic of the interwebs and YouTube. <laughs> Mm, give yourself some love and send some love to others who are on this journey with you. Allowing yourself to be here now and to put anything that is causing your attention to drift away from this time and space outside of our space and giving yourself permission to pick it up or not after we are complete. I am so excited again to be with you because we are still working with goddess oracles as far as bringing in their wisdom. That's one of the things that I am most passionate about. I can't tell you, and actually I can, <laughs> how much I love, love, love connecting with the goddess. Especially, that that's what led me to becoming a priestess. So today, we're going to connect with the Goddess Guidance Oracle by Doreen Virtue. I love, 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 love this deck. It's got so many ways that you can use it, so many juicy insights. And um, today, I've already picked our cards. So we're going to use, I've already picked the Goddess Guidance Oracle. And I haven't looked at it myself yet, so I'm very excited. And I've also... Put my hand behind this so that you can see. I decided instead of trying to come up with a question for for us, um, I would play along and pick a question from this deck, and it's called the Inquiry Deck. And you can see it's got this beautiful um, what is it? A hexagon? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a beautiful, beautiful cards. And they have these beautiful images on them with a question. And so the way that you use these is you're actually supposed to um, hold a project or a situation or something in your mind and then pull a question to kind of help guide your thought processes along a more powerful path. So we're gonna use this card with the goddess oracle now as always give yourself enough time to be with this and this might be if you use it like I do on Wednesdays I pull these cards and I stay with them until the following Tuesday and then the next Wednesday I record videos usually I record them on like Tuesday afternoon so that way I can have them uploaded for you Okay, so our goddess, ooh, our goddess for today is Kali, and she talks about beginnings and endings. The um, information on the card says, the old must be released so that the new can enter. So we are not even going to use the book here. Just tune in and ask what do you need to know right now about beginnings and endings? And hmm, the first thing that comes up for me is I have a little resistance to endings and I have a little resistance to beginnings. So learning to be in that and space. Hmm, learning to be in that and space can be very a very powerful forward momentum. So definitely write some good stuff down for yourself here. Now, 
Now, when I'm working with goddess oracles especially, I like to write in short bursts, keeping whatever I'm writing very, very concise and very quick because I just feel like that allows less time for my ego to kick in and be like, well... Okay. So now let's take a look at the question. <laughs> and the question is perfect. What can I celebrate? So what can I celebrate about endings and beginnings? And look at that image. Isn't that gorgeous? So definitely with these cards, you can um, <clears throat> just sit and meditate with these kaleidoscope pictures and um, really tune into whatever it is that you're using these cards for. So in relation to endings and beginnings, what can you celebrate? so that it doesn't feel so scary. I know with Kali, she's the god, she's a goddess that really when you invoke her, when you work with her, she will push you out of your comfort zone. Like she will give you a massive massive shove out of your out of your comfort zone. So, what can you celebrate? Both of these cards are so perfect for me today because um, as I'm recording this, I'm actually, well, after I record this, I'll be going to a memorial service for a dear friend that passed away from ALS and um, complications with ALS. So connecting with endings and beginnings and celebrating my dear friend's life perfect. It's perfect for me. Hmm. I hope you got some juicy, delicious things for yourself. And I, the, another reason I love tuning in to the goddess is because she gives you tools and tips to be able to be, stand up in your radiant divine light and be a leader in your own life. And if you would like to connect more deeply with other goddesses, I invite you to register for the course that I am teaching called Radiant Divine Feminine Leadership Powers. It is a six module course. Um, I teach on Thursdays at three and um, if you're not able, 3, 3 p.m. Eastern, and if you're not able to attend that live, you can always get the replays. So I'll put the link in the, in the description box down below, as well as the link to the inquiry cards. But Radiant Divine Feminine Leadership Powers takes a look at six different goddesses and uses their stories and their wisdoms to help you up-level your the power and your leadership ability for your life, your leadership ability for your business, anywhere you wanna use divine feminine leadership skills and understand the difference in between divine feminine and like the masculine model. So I am sending you so much love and I hope that you'll join me again soon. Take care, be good to yourself, and I will see you next time.